Well, great defense from the Wildcats to start. And it was kind of both teams are getting a lot of switches as Bryce tees one off. It's something about John Kane Arena. Those rims, Bryce Cotton loves shooting there. Blanchfield couldn't finish off. And Landale tips it to the advantage of McCarran. Then White in the open floor with the jam. Melbourne starting to find their feet out of the timeout. So Melbourne with the last possession of the quarter. Jack White wants to take it all on himself. What a move from the big man. One end to the other. Finishes the quarter off at 20 to piece. His numbers are good, and, and that's just a guy trying to make sure he assumes those point guard responsibilities, get people involved. He's shooting at 51% from the field, 43 from the three. Wagstaff tried to dump it in for Bearstow. He lost it. They won't catch Barber in the open floor. And we have a look here. Great outlet pass by Peatling and Bryce Cotton doing a little bit of scouting, realizing I'm not going to go up and contest that one. Missed shots and breakaways in transition. Their half court offense has looked horrible. They have got nothing going, which is another reason why Lando has got going. Sherville again just coming in with, with great energy. But you're right, and when Bryce Cotton is when the defense does ramp up, he makes good the good decision and, and gets someone a nice easy one. He's already got four assists to his name as the two easy backdoor play, and that's better for United's offense. And they've run through play. Landau has a couple to choose from. McCarran, they settle with for the three ball. First points of the game. They needed to be, but talk about from Dean Vickerman, but there's an easy early signs for Melbourne United. Blanchfield again, fires away, this time successful. Here he is, he's spinning on Sherville. What about the finish? Hashtag expect the unexpected. Blanchfield. Ooh. Hops it up in the air and scores. Tough two. Brilliant. Blanchfield. Pushed off on McCarran. You talk about Levitated Scotty. Levitated in the air for just long enough. And that's the shot that he does. And he's used that side. You talk about Scotty Hobson perhaps being that expert. Couldn't really get a good view because both men's feet were right there. As Bryce Cotton oh, doing what Bryce Cotton does. He could be old 13. And then yep. the next one that goes up, you have a good chance of going down. McDaniel with the job guarding Cotton. He got away from him and pulled the trigger. That's long. Sherville high on the glass. Good enough to land and then put it back in. That's a big bucket for the youngster. Landau thought about it for a moment. Now with Hobson. Shot clock at seven. Great find from Hobson. The finish from Landau. Melbourne to the line to take the lead. It was 75-71 when the game finished up and there was not much between them all afternoon. Oh, Cotton, yeah. huge. And it's tough for Sam McDaniel. Looks like he's playing tremendous defense. He looks a little ginger, Bryce yeah. Cotton. The tip. And check that out in a moment. Pops and drives and scores. He and Landau in that little two-man game. Barlow and Landau, he judged the pass perfectly. Didn't overcommit, and then the duck. Let's hope that's all that is for, for Melbourne United and Mitch McCarron. Sam McDaniel sub back in, and it's fitting that it goes right down to the wire with these two teams once more. Cotton for three. Yes! Oh my goodness. He just keeps delivering late in games. Shooting for the majority of the game. Don't worry about it. He's just going to rise up and never look like missing. <laughs> so off the inbound. Perth will... Oh! Finish off. This time the missed layup for Jesse doesn't matter because they won. And Melbourne dropped their first game of the NBL Cup.